In chapter 12, we will be analyzing spatial data and uh, beginning with exercise 12a of getting to know ArcGIS desktop updated for ArcGIS 9.3. We will be um, learning how to create buffers. We've used buffers previously on selecting the attributes and location, and now we will be um, creating new buffers. I'm going to go ahead and open exercise 12a. Again, we will be using the, um, the data on the uh, Tongass Reserve, which is nature's reserve with rivers and nests. And uh, we want to create a couple of buffers. The first buffer we want to do, well, first buffer, uh, if you don't already have it open, click on the Arc Toolbox icon. And the buffer is under Analysis Tools. Um, Analysis tools, then proximity, and then buffer. So we'll click on buffer, and you can choose uh, you can choose a layer by clicking on the drop down. Then another way you can do it is by dragging from the table of contents, like so. Takes a few seconds, and this we will call the uh, mess f buff. And we've got a buffer around nests F, and um, we're going to create a buffer of 800 meters. So it's under 800 and meters. You click OK. Oh, before you do that, almost forgot. Make sure you have to dissolve all. What dissolving does? It just creates if two buffers overlap. They will dissolve into one buffer, one polygon. If you don't do that, you'll have two overlapping, which is, which is not a problem, it's just um, not what we're going for at this time. Let's go ahead and click OK. Just a few seconds, there we go. And now you see the buffer, uh, the purple circles around the nests, and you can tell that in these three, uh, the buffer overlaps. If you inspect the attribute table, uh, you'll see there's only one polygon, and that's because we dissolved. So even the one that isn't uh, overlapping, they all are part of the same multi uh, multi polygon with a shape, shape length, and a shape value. But that's not all that we want to do. We also want to um, create a buffer around the rivers. Um, first, let's look at the rivers, the streams in this case. And you see that here, uh, the distance is either 50 or 100, depending on if it has spawning fish. So we want to create a buffer of 50 around all of these streams that uh, do not have spawning of fish, and 100 meters around the streams that do have spawning fish. And this is um, easier than you might think. And to do that, we can go uh, ahead and buffer again. And this time we want to use the streams polygon. And instead of using a linear unit, we will use field. And the field that we want to use, oh, and we also want to call it something like streams F buff. And the field that we want to use is the distance, because that's either the 50 or the 100 meters. And, um, and uh, ArcGIS will be able to tell if it should be 50 or 100. Go ahead and click OK. It's thinking for a few seconds. And there we have it. Um, if we turn off uh, the streams, oh, sorry, the streams F in the nests. And now you see the buffered areas around the rivers and around the nests. If you'd like to zoom in, you can see the distance between 50 meters and 100 meters. So this stream has no uh, spawning, so you can when you cut the trees down to 50 meters from the stream. The stream that has spawning fish, you need a buffer of 100. You can check to make sure this worked by right clicking on the street buffer, attributes table, and you see the buffer distance is now the same as the normal distance, so you know that the buffer. 
Okay, this is the end of exercise 12A. If you understand this, go ahead and see the work.